Thank you all for coming out. What a great event. It's awesome to see so many people. The trade show floor has been awesome. We've had a ton of great conversations already. My name's Keegan Kinslow. I am the Regional Marketing Manager for Intrusion Sensors here at Bosch Security. I've been with the organization almost 10 years now, focusing most of my time on the intrusion side, but I did delve into the EV side and the video side quite a bit. Um, but as of January, I've taken over kind of this marketing role and it's been really, really exciting. Today I'm gonna talk about a pretty unique but easy concept, quite honestly, and that's securing your request to exit detectors through what we call sequential logic. This is a solution that Bosch provided to the market about 15 years ago. We were the first to bring this to market and we've had some really good success here, okay? So first off, what are we talking about request to exits? Let me set the stage for everybody, okay? From an access controls perspective, you have your controllers and your workstations and your readers, and outside of your building or outside of a secure door, you have a card reader, right, that I would present a key fob or a card to or a pin, right? It typically requires you have something like those cards or key fobs or something that you know, like a pin. By the way, please don't use one, two, three, four as your pin code, please. We all think, I think we can all agree on that. Um, but on the other side of the door, we have request to exit devices, right? That work in conjunction or can be standalone units for the secured side of those doors, okay? Those request to exits can be anything from a, a detector that goes on top, of the, on top of the door itself or the ceiling. It could be a push button, it could be a floor sensor, any one of those things. Here in the US, we see a lot of request to exit detectors that are, that are presented. Note folks that in the US and in, in, in many, many jurisdictions, sorry, there are some requirements as far as you know, hands-free egress with you know, potentially multiple technologies, right? Whether that's a crash bar, a request to exit, a push button, uh, request to exit detectors have the ability to be incorporated into your access control system, right? So when they see motion, it signals the access control system to initiate the door locking hardware. They can also be run, our detectors can also run the door locking hardware itself, right? So if I wanted to put the mag lock or put the strike into the request to exit, we could also control it that way. And then we also bypass alarm contacts. Right, so if you have an alarm contact on that door, we have the ability to make sure that the access control system knows, hey, everything is okay. I saw a valid request to exit. We're good to go here. The DS160, this is our flagship product. This is my flagship product from a sensor's perspective. We sell thousands and thousands of these a month. They go into uh, all sorts of applications, all sorts of access control systems. The one thing that I'll, I'll, I'll mention here, folks, is that it is completely software hardware agnostic. And so if you guys are using Linnell or Milestone Genetech, a Bosch AMS access control system, you can tie it right in, it's not a problem, okay? Uh, we have a flexible PIR pattern control. So you'll notice I did throw up the, the PIR pattern here. It's a little bit different than your standard motion detector. You intrusion guys see this, right? It's, it's typically in a U shape or a C shape, shape form to be able to notice when somebody is coming from all different angles. But it is a little bit different, okay? And it's, let me rephrase something here. This is not an intrusion device. Request to exits are not meant to um, you know, catch the burglar when they're coming into, into your premises. They're simply put there so that I don't smash my face in the glass window when I'm trying to leave your, your building, okay? We have some masking capability, so if you have a unique situation where, hey, maybe there's a heater or a cooler close by where it may you know, false activate, we have the ability of shutting those things off. Um, but we also have you know, the, the door monitor input uh, which allows us to understand if that door is open or closed, okay? And why that's important, another function or feature on the, on the DS160, mind you, is the built-in sounder and timer, okay? So while I'm tying that door contact into the request to exit, it can notify that user or that person if that door's been open too long. Right? So if I set it and I, I want this door only to be open for 10 seconds, I don't want someone creeping in when I'm trying to leave the building, I can set that buzzer to make sure that the person knows, hey, you gotta close this door. Selectable relay latch time, that's anywhere from a half a second to 60 seconds. So depending on how long, or how long of a wait or where it's placed, I have ample time to make sure that I can get out that door. 
optional fail safe, fail secure modes. Uh, make sure you guys are working with your AHJs and understand the codes and, and, and um, things of that nature uh, so that you're following that. And then the last and final portion that I will point out is just the two form C relays. Okay, and this is if you guys are uh, controlling that door through the request to exit and not necessarily on the, the access control side. But one of those relays is, is to initiate that hardware and then one is to bypass that alarm contact. And obviously we have spike protection making sure we're not blowing this thing up when you guys are tying them to door hardware. So overview of DS160, and I know I'm the last presentation until lunch so I can see everybody's going, ha, ha, ha. Keegan, get going, I'm starving, right? Let me get to the meat and potatoes of the, of the presentation here. What is sequential logic, SLI for, for short? This is really for your high security applications. I'm sure you guys have all heard of these folks, these ill will folks that are trying to get past PIR request to exit detectors and what a headache that that can cause. Again, Bosch invented this 15 years ago. And what it allows us to do is tie in another dry contact device directly into the request to exit detector. Those other contacts could be a, a door contact, it could be another motion detector, it could be a push button or a floor sensor, right? It allows us to increase the security of that access control system specific to request to exit, okay? And think of it as a, a directional detection segment, okay? Meaning, if this happens, motion detector goes off, a door contact gets broken, then the request to exit sees motion, I initiate the door locking hardware, or I communicate back to the access control system to initiate the locking hardware. If it doesn't happen before the request to exit sees motion, I stay locked, right? So the person that's trying to shove something through the door isn't gonna be able to trip that and gain access to your building. The other really cool feature about sequential logic is the ability to manage this from the intrusion panel. So you guys are familiar, Bosch offers a, a wide range of intrusion panels and intru intrusion solutions. We have the ability to manage the request to exits, let's say workability, by the intrusion system. So if the system is armed, I can tell the request to exit through sequential logic. If you see motion, I don't care that you see motion. It's in an armed state. Nobody should be in this building. Don't work. If it's disarmed, I can say this is the only time that you should be working, okay? And I always like to throw some pictures and, and really kind of talk through the this, this situation rather than throwing some slides up there and talking about if this, thens, and what's, right? So this is a real life situation where we as Bosch has, have utilized sequential logic. This is in our headquarters in Fairport, New York. Our intrusion headquarters is based out of there. All of our engineering team, Tom and I, Tom Meckler and I, are based out of the Fairport, New York office. This is our back door. And this is a, a really good vestibule solution where we have a door contact that's on that second set of doors, the most interior doors, tied to the request to exit that's on the furthest end. And when I break that request, to, or I'm sorry, I break that recessed door contact, and then the, the PIR request to exit sees me, I'm allowed free egress, okay? If I was to try and gain access the other way around, it would not initiate the door hardware or let the access control system know, hey, everything is okay. And then this is the front of the building. We've actually changed this a little bit. It used to be the recessed door contact, but I said, hey, we need to show the motion detectors doing this, right? So this is a Pro Series Tri-Tech motion detector up here. I know it's kind of hard to see, gang, uh, but that's a Pro Series uh, Tri-Tech motion detector up there. And we have two ways of entry or, or exit, if you will. And depend, and doesn't matter which side I'm coming from, that motion detector is gonna pick me up. That's the first leg of the sequential logic. When I go through that first set of doors, the DS-160 is up in the, uh, up in the vestibule there. It sees me, and then I'm able to have free egress, okay? So again, a really simplistic solution to a challenge that we've all heard about but it's about understanding it, setting up correctly, and realistically, it's a couple of dip switches and maybe another wire, okay? So again, this is for your high security applications. Indoor applications, you guys are free to do what you want. In, or I'm sorry, outdoor applications, certainly something to think about with your customers and when you guys are deploying these things out in the field, okay? 
And with that, that was the quickest one today, hopefully, and I'll turn everybody loose for lunch. We are gonna be in the trade show floor. We have this set up with a motion detector as well as a door contact toggle. We can show you those things. We have a bunch of sensors. Tom's got a bunch of stuff from, a, from an intrusion systems in the new B6800 receiver. If you guys wanna come take a look. And again, super happy to have you guys here. Excited to continue the conversations. Thank you very much. Bosch, invented for life.